All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent, done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. So today we are going to talk about some of the things that we want to look out for when we're importing some of these video files and some things that we can do uh, when we import the video files into Audacity. And we're also going to talk about how we can take that Audacity audio and tie it back into the video, replacing the old audio on the video. So stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get going. So first and foremost, we want to have a look at the entire picture holistically. And we can see that this almost most certainly looks like it is exceeding the threshold, um, which is clipping, digital distortion. And it sounds like trash. So what we want to do is make sure that we're not, and if we are, we would like to fix that. So first and foremost, we can double click this track and we're going to find out if we are and by how much. So we'll double click to highlight the entire track. We will go to effect and go to amplify. Now, if amplify gives you any negative number, then we are past the threshold by that amount. So in this instance, it would be, just over a half dB. So immediately I'm going to bring it down so we can just be in the realm and not exceeding. So once that comes down, I notice that this right here is far more loud than the rest of the audio. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to find out what this is here. Zoom in a little bit more, get some precision. And I'm going to drop this by roughly 2 dB. So I'll go to amplify and we will de-amplify that by roughly 2. And we'll zoom back out. And that's made a nice difference. Okay, very good. And we see this is very loud right here. What's going on? What's happening? So that is an option. <laughs> All right, I guess that's an option. All right. Zoom out. Let's see what's happening over here. Am I getting excited Field. about something? Ooh, we. All right. Yeah, so we will definitely highlight this. And what I'm doing is I'm doing control R for repeat. And what that does is it repeats the last step that I took, which was deamplifying by roughly two. So we are doing that. So first and foremost, you know, we want to make sure that we're not clipping and maybe we want to run a hard limiter on there. Now, every video is going to be completely different. This is entirely situational. Uh, you could have a video that you're working with and you were outside on a windy day and the wind is blowing straight into your iPhone microphone. So, you know, what you're going to need to do or want to do uh, is going to be entirely situational. But Without a doubt, we're going to want to look at the waves and make sure that we're not exceeding the threshold. And if we are, we want to bring it down back in to the play zone. Uh, we do that by highlighting the whole track and going to amplify. And if it gives us any negative number, then we can go ahead and say, yes, I want to automatically decrease it by that negative number. And then we would go through and have a look at some of these waves, like this big, big, chunky, deep blue wave that was just way up here. Um, definitely brought that down a couple dBs. And if we want to hit a bunch of this stuff in one shot and try to make it a bit more uniform, then we will double click to highlight this whole track and we can go to effect, go to limiter, and we could set a hard limit on that. And looking at this, you know, I feel that negative three is going to be perfect ish you know so i don't know i've done this once or twice i have no idea so we'll we'll allow that to go ahead and work and we'll have a look at this whole thing when it's done okay so that's already looking much better you know and another thing that you may want to do is possibly bring up some volume in some really quiet places so those are a few things that you want to look out for in your video audio uh, definitely want to check for the clipping, digital distortion. Sounds like trash. You don't want it. I don't know. Maybe you want to add some background music or something like that. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Do we? Um, all right. So let's say you wanted to add some background music. 
Go ahead and click drag and drop that music right in or use the import, whatever works for you. And immediately we're going to want to turn down the volume of this music because it's background music. So we want it to sit into the back. So we'll go to this gain slider right here and immediately I'm going to drop it negative 10 just immediately. A lot of people fade out toward the still too loud. So let's try, let's try negative 17. A lot of people fade out toward the end. Under getting better. I want to say negative 20 is going to be great. Let's check it out. A lot of people fade out toward the end. Understandably. We A lot of people fade out toward the end. Understandably. We get it. Okay, great. But I'm going to start this tutorial with the outro because the. Okay, so let's just say you wanted a little bit of intro music. Um, you know, go ahead and bring that in and we want it to be background music. So, you know, you would drag this gain slider down until you feel that you have the correct mix that you're looking for. You know, the music's not too loud to where it's, you know, overpowering whatever you're saying or whatever's happening in the intro. Um, so go ahead and find a good level for that. And of course, you're probably not going to need the entire song playing the entire time. So, um, let's say that, you know, for, for example's sake, <clears throat> I'll zoom in real fast that your intro ends at 30 seconds. So we'll place the cursor right here at about 30 seconds. We'll go to edit and we will say clip, clip boundaries. And we'll highlight the end that we don't need and cut it away. Then we're probably going to want a nice smooth transition out. So I will highlight that. I will go to effect and I will select fade out. And we could have a nice smooth transition in. So we'll highlight this beginning, go to effect and say fade in. And let's check it out. Let's see, I mean, it, the music probably does not go with what, whatever I'm saying in here, but I wanted to drag something in to just use for an example and show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a rack, a rack of new tutorials coming out. Keep your eyes peeled for that. I am going to start this tutorial with the outro because i know that a lot of people fade out toward the end understandably we get it okay great but i'm going all right cool now let's just say so, so oops let's just say um okay well it sounds great but the music starts a little later than i'd like so we were zoomed out we're going to zoom in and we will select the time slider tool and we will click and drag this to the left to make the music come in sooner a rack of so select the selection tool let's check it out all right ladies and gentlemen i've got a rack a rack of new tutorials coming out Perfect. keep your eyes peeled for that i am going to start this tutorial awesome all right great and let's check out the fade out message that i deliver i find great so i just wanted to use that as an example of some things that you could do, maybe you wanted to drop a little bit of music in there, but you don't need the whole track. So we can cut it away after we split it, have a nice transition in by fading in, have a nice transition out by fading out. And if the music were to come in too fast or too slow, no sweat, we would simply select the time slider tool and adjust accordingly. So from here, we're going to export this. And now I'm going to show you um, exactly how we would replace the old audio from the video with the new audio that we have in audacity so let's go ahead and export this and we will call it this plus mp3 and whenever it's done exporting now i'm going to talk about a different software and this is called HitFilm Express. It's a free film editing software. And this is what we're going to use to tie the new Audacity audio to the video and replace the old cruddy audio without the awesome intro music. So... <laughs> Basically, you can download HitFilm Express. Uh, you can donate to them if you like, but it's a free software. Um, if you were to look up lists of free film editing softwares, you will see 
or the best free film editing softwares, you will see Hit Film Express pop up time and time again. And that congruence leads me to believe that it's pretty darn good. And I use it quite often. So this is what we would do. We would create a new project with Hit, Hit Film Express. Once again, free. Uh, you just go to their website, download that bad boy, and install it. And once we have a new project open, this is what we do. We take in the video and drop it right here in the project area. And this is the computer audio MP3 that we just exported from Audacity. So now we've got the original video in here, and they're both conforming. And we've also got the Audacity audio. Okay, so now that it's done conforming, we will take this video and place it right here on this timeline. So we will click the video and then place it right here, right here at the beginning. And we'll have a quick listen so that we can hear that it is the original audio um, without the amazing intro music. And All right, ladies and gentlemen, shot. I've got a rack, a rack of new tutorials coming out. Keep your eyes. Okay, so no great intro music. Um, it's not that great, but it was good for an example. So this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to take the Audacity audio with the amazing intro music, and we are going to place it right over top of the original audio. So watch this. Click, drag, and I will drop it right over top. And that should be replaced. So this should be the Audacity audio with no clipping. And we know it is, in fact, because we named it Comp Audio Mic Final MP3. So it's the exact name of the MP3. So let's give it a play and see if we can hear Field for the music. That. I am going to start this tutorial with there the outro. Is. Because I know that a lot of people fade out toward the end. Understandably, we get it. Okay, great. That's awesome. All right, cool. So that's exactly how you would tie the music from Audacity back to a video. And once you're done, I want you to, to place this cursor at the end of the video, and then we will click set out point. And that will tell HitFilm, I only want you to export what is in this, this area right here. And from there, we will click export right here. And we'll call this, you know, we'll just call it final test, whatever. Final test. Save. And now it is exporting. And you'll be able to see the progress right here. All right. That's exactly how you do it. You'll need to wait a little while and let it do its thing. So there you have it. Okay. We're exporting. We're already 1% in. And... It's as easy as that. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.